Okay, so iliotibial band cupping. We're going to use the vacuum cups. You know that we have a course directed towards this, so all the contraindications apply here as well. Okay, so <clears throat> let's put them on hold for the time being and just show you some of the sequences that we can use for ITB. Now, as far as doing massage on the ITB, I'm not a fan of it. I've actually had it myself and it really never made any difference apart from it really hurt. But using the vacuum cupping does make a big difference because we are lifting the tissue and moving it around. So we're actually looking at trying to mobilize the fascia or the superficial fascia. And we can have an effect onto that ITB as well. I tend to focus in and around the hip, so we've done our dry needling, now we've done our soft tissue work, now we're doing our vacuum cupping. We're gonna come and work along the edge of the ITB and the vastus lateralis. We're gonna come round to the back and pick up the edge of the vastus lateralis, the ITB, and even a little bit into the biceps fem as well. So that will be the sequence that we go. Now, once again, really important how much pressure you put into your clients cups before you use them so you need to test where you're at always start with one pump first and go from there we're going to use the premax lotion because that's a really really slippery uh, viscosity so that's what we want to be able to glide using these cups if we have something that's a little bit too thick and a little bit grabby then we just don't get the the benefits from the cupping that we want so just moving backwards and forwards this is the testing to see how we go we've got right on top of the graded canter right here so we're going to work out and the down and around from here so <clears throat> this is how we're going to work we're going to work backwards and forwards across the tissue so we're going to pick up all the tissue into the gluteal so all that superficial fascia we're going to work all the way up to the glute medius we're going to come back and around to glute max at the back here back over again so you can see that the sequence that we're using there, okay? So we're working across the hip and picking up all that gluteal fascia. And you know, let's face it, it's a bit of a roundabout because it all comes in and blends at that greater trochanter, even some of the deep fascia, because we have anywhere there's joints, we have superficial and deep fascia coming in together. Okay, now we can start to make the journey down towards and along the length of that vastus lateralis and ITB coming all the way down anteriorly dropping back over, picking up the posterior, and then back up like so. Okay, and around, back over again, and do the same again. So that's the sequence we wanna run through. So you need to be sure that your clients can handle that pressure, so I'm only on one pump. As it starts to free up, and you get a lot more freedom with it, then you can start to increase the pressure. Now, come down below the greater trochanter. Now we can start to work across the ITB itself. So I'm gonna work backwards, forwards, across that ITB. So we're picking it up, not only at the, the edges here, but also across the actual tissue itself. Okay, so down. And what you will find a lot of the time is as you come down further, you'll lose a lot more of that pressure. So don't be afraid that if you want to pick up the pressure a little bit, just come in, just probably start with half a pump, and work your way back up again. All right, so we're going back up. And we can just keep that sequence going. Now, how long do you cut for? Well, that varies from person to person because primarily you're going to be getting different changes with different people. I tend to find by the time you get to maybe about two pumps, you've worked probably this area a good 10 minutes, that's probably suffices enough there. But absolutely make sure that you treat and check your pressure. And then obviously to remove, just pull down, pull away.